Hey family, how's everybody doing out there? And I find you filled with the anointing power of God the Father in peace and filled with His mighty grace. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ, He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and we are the body. We must continue doing God's will for Jesus Christ. He's near. He is coming soon. We're here at uh, Surabaya, Surabaya, Indonesia today. And right now we're on our way to uh, this monument. Uh, it's like a plaza, I believe. I, uh, I don't know this city. I don't know this area. But uh, we're just going to try to find a place where we can read the Bible and share the gospel. I don't speak this language, but there's uh, some people here that speak English. So this is for the glory of God. We must proclaim the good news to the ends of the world for the glory of God the Father. And we must be doers of the good news, proclaim and share the gospel to all those that do not know him because he is coming soon. So I don't have transportation. But uh, I will serve the Lord. I don't know the language here, but I will serve the Lord. And I don't know my way around here. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. So I'm going to just show you guys a little bit here of this uh, city. It's uh, Surabaya city and you know there's a lot, a lot, a lot of harvest here in this city as there is all over the world including America and in America they call it a Christian nation but let me tell you something the Bible says you must be born again for no one can see or enter the kingdom of God unless they're born again guys it's not about religion it's not about religion it's not about denomination it's not about how much money you got it's not about how much of the world do you have you must surrender completely to the lord of lords and king of kings and serve him love him and you must love the brethren and love your enemies as well, brothers and sisters. So this is a little uh, view of the city here in Moj uh, This is uh, Surabaya, Surabaya. So we're just gonna cut it right there and continue to walk and find a, a place where we can share the gospel. People might think I'm crazy, but God commands us to be the light among darkness, to shine the light before others that they may see our deeds and glorify Him. For it's not us that lives, but Christ that lives in us, the life that we live. Jesus loves you, my friend. I don't speak the language. I don't understand. Yeah. Trust in the Lord. Seek God and His righteousness, my friend. Yeah, do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yeah. Yeah, who is Jesus? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. My friend, seek the Lord Jesus Christ. He loves you, my friend. He's coming soon. You must repent. Yeah. Are, you, are, are you a Muslim? Bhutan. Oh, you're Buddha, Catholic. Catholic. Oh, you're Catholic. Well, the Bible says that there's only one mediator between God and man. Yeah. Only Jesus Christ, my friend. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Me? I used to be a Catholic too. But no more. No more Catholic. I follow Jesus Christ alone. Only Jesus Christ can yeah. save us. Because the Pope cannot save us. Virgin Mary cannot save us. You know, only Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ can save us. Well, this. So, my friend. My friend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My name is Frank. I'm here from America, but I'm here to 
share the gospel about Jesus Christ because he is coming soon. Yeah. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? You must be born again. Doesn't matter. Yeah, my friend. Look, the Bible says. I'm going to show you something, okay? Uh, it's on uh, John 3. Okay? But Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. You must be born of the Spirit of God, my friend. Because Catholicism will not save you. Those priests will not save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. You must surrender to Jesus Christ completely, my friend. Can I pray for you? Can I pray? 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 Oh, uh... Pray? Father God, we just come before you in the name of Jesus. I lift this man. This man, Father God, that is lost. I lift him up to your presence, Father God, and I just pray that you will set him free from this religion of capitalism that is of the pit of hell, Father God. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to you, Father, only through your Son, Jesus Christ. For what he did at the cross, he shed his blood, he died, he paid the penalty that we may live, Father God, as I once was lost in this Catholic religion, Father. You sent your Son and have set me free, Lord. So I pray for this man that you will set him free today, Lord. Give him the knowledge, the wisdom, the discernment, Father God, whatever he needs, that he will seek you completely, that he will surrender to you completely, Father God, that you are coming quickly, and it's not your will that I should perish, Father God. May you bless this man, and that this man will find true repentance and come to the saving knowledge of the truth of your Son, our Lord and Savior. And I pray this in His holy name, the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, my friend. Money I don't have. But, you know what? Jesus wants to bless you today. I'm going to give you a little money. But you must say God and His righteousness first. Peace and grace be with you. 